American women have fought long and hard for their rights, but it appears they still have a long way to go. Regardless of age, race, and field of occupation, American women make 81 cents for every dollar earned by men in the country. That's all women working full time, year round, compared to all men. In the controlled gender pay gap, that is when men and women were working the same exact jobs with the same exact qualifications for the exact same number of hours, white women gained 98 cents for every dollar men made. That's two cents less, for no reason other than their gender. Unsurprisingly, race adds to this gap. Women of color earn a significantly less amount than white women in the United States. For every dollar earned by American men, on average, white women make 81 cents, while American Indian, Alaska Native, Hispanic, and black women make 75 cents for every dollar earned by a white man. Different factors have brought about this gap. Differences in industry. Most traditional women's jobs, such as health aid and work in the field of childcare, generally offer less pay and fewer benefits in comparison to traditional men's jobs, such as building and construction. Differences in experience. Women are more likely to be driven out of the workforce into unpaid obligations and caregiving. Therefore, they tend to have less experience than men. Differences in working hours. Again, due to unpaid obligations, women are more likely to take part-time jobs than men. Gender-based discrimination. Although gender-based discrimination is illegal in the United States, it's still widely practiced, especially when women remain silent out of the fear of losing their jobs for protesting this discrimination. It's important to understand that although this gap appears insignificant on the small scale, when calculated on a lifetime scale, a woman in the uncontrolled group working full-time all year long would have gained $11,900 less than a man on average in the year 2020. That's roughly $900,000 over the course of 40 years and even more for a woman of color. For women in the controlled group, it was about $100,000 less than a man for no reason other than their gender. These calculations do not include earnings that could possibly be obtained through investing the money lost due to the wage gap, which could increase these numbers to a large extent. So is gender-based discrimination truly illegal in the United States? Or is the law against it just a decorative adornment, falsely boasting of the country's unachieved accomplishments?